What is up YouTube? Back with another unboxing. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit that like button and that subscribe button. It is a summer, so I have been trying to work out and been running through these running shoes. And I wanted to pick up these pair of sneakers to see if these were really good running shoes. I haven't ran in these yet. Picked these up today. So let's get into this review. Actually, let's get into my running shoes. So, I love running in the Ultra Boost Uncage, but the soles are disastrous. I know it has continental rubber on it, but it wears down really quick. Look, it's even cracking on this pair. Also, on this pair of my Ultra Boosts, it's really weird wore down you can see it on a boost right there and for what this costs this is probably the best running shoe in that price range of 80 to 100 bucks these are the Air Max 34s and I believe these are one of the best shoes you could get for the $80 to $100 price range for a running shoe. Really comfortable. Got the Air Zoom, as you can see right there. But, since I love this so much, I wanted to try the new model. These are the Nike Zoom Pegasus 35. And these are the 34s right here. Pull out both pairs. And I wanted to try these on I want to run in these because a lot of my shoes wear out pretty quick. The Pegasus 34s are holding up pretty well. At least the outsoles are way better than the Continental Rubbers on the Ultra Boost. So I was like, let me get another pair of the Pegasus 30, the newer Pegasus, and try these on. And I tried these on in the store, and. I will go half size up on these. I, I feel like the Air, the Pegasus 35s are actually narrower than the 34s. If you guys can see that. A little bit narrower. And let's just go into comparison. Let's go. Outsole. Pegasus 35s on top. Red bottoms. Gray bottoms as the 34s. So it looks pretty similar. The back is a little bit more pointy. This is more rounded out. I kind of like this style better. It looks probably the same. But for some reason, this felt on feet more narrow. And I definitely went a half size up. 34s, I went true to size. Size 10, my true to size is size 10. And I went 10 and a half in these. So... These are the newer versions. I don't really know which is newer to these. Like what new tech is in these. But I really like these. So I got these. I used a coupon. So I was able to get these for 90 bucks at Foot Locker. So I said why not. Got the red bottoms. Look pretty nice. And Pegasus are known to be like one of the top running shoes in ever. So I wanted to try these out. As you can tell, there's some differences. As you can see right here, it's different from right here, design-wise. I don't really know what that does, but back there, pretty similar. Besides, it's more pointy. What else, what else? It's, as you can see, this is really breathable. The Pegasus 34 is really breathable. I really like it when I run. These seem to have a lot of preparations. If you guys can see that. And it's really, really comfortable. I like how it has 35 right here. Bang, bang. 35 to show the <laughs> Pegasus 35. But I definitely want to try these out. Run for a couple miles and see how comfortable these are. Because... These, I want to say, really, really comfortable. At first, I didn't really like them. But once you wear it down, 
one of the most comfortable running shoes. I kind of like running in Pegasus 34s more than my Ultra Boost. Even though Ultra Boots are more comfortable, but I feel like I run better in a Pegasus for some reason. Maybe it's the cushion on the Ultra Boots that it's too soft. It, it just feels weird. So, fitting wise, I want to half a size up on these. I usually like my running shoes a little bit more tight, but it was really too narrow for me. I got kind of wider feet. You could go true to size or or a half size up, I would say. Because if you guys can see, I know it doesn't, it does look a little bit more narrow. See, this top part is wider than this. That's why I went a half size up. But just wanted to let you guys know, Nike Zoom Pegasus are one of the best running shoes you could get for that price range. I know Nike has an epic react for 150 and all this other stuff, but you see the the how the outsole wear out. These doesn't wear out as fast, I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure it were it lasts longer than Ultra Boost soles. It has for my 34s last longer than my Ultra Boost soles, and I ran a good amount of mileage on these. And it's still, I mean, it is fading a little bit, but it's still a good amount of also left. These are basically the same amount. Also in the Nike Zoom Pegasus, I like the fly wire where the laces go. So when you tighten up the laces, they actually tighten around the side of your feet, which is pretty nice. Same thing on the 35, it has it right here. If you guys can see around the laces, of, it's called a fly wire or something like that. So it goes all the way down. So as you tighten your shoe, it tightens up all the way. So it gives you a pretty good lockdown when you're running. Aesthetic wise, which one do you guys like better? Comment down below, let me know. I kind of like these better. I must say. Color wise, I like this. But shape wise, I like this. I don't know why I like this. Like faster look to it and makes me feel like I could run a little bit faster. Hope you guys like this quick review. Peace. I'm out.